Hey guys, Stuart Mainly Vandas. Hope everybody's well today. So uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and, and talk to you guys about uh, how to prepare a Vanda orchid for AOS judging, or a if you're going to a, a society show or something like that, uh, an orchid show where you can you know purchase plants and see all the displays, and maybe you want to put your plant in a display, or maybe you want to take it to the AOS judging center to get judged. Um, you know, this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to prepare your orchid. Um, you know, many times I have seen orchids that are either going to the show or being displayed or going to the AOS that, um, quite frankly, sh shouldn't even be there. Or they, um, in my opinion anyway, guys, okay, uh, or should be there and they're just not cleaned up properly or, or displayed properly, you know. Um, that's part of... You know, uh, just think. You know, these orchids are going to the prom, basically. So, you know, that's that's what we want. These we want these things to be dressed up nice, as nice as they can. Um, you know, we want presentation to be a, is a big factor. So, um, you know, basically in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this orchid here. Okay, it's very very beautiful. It's got great blooms on it. Okay, and uh, you know the stem it's unsightly, kind of like this. You know, I don't want to take it in like this. Um, this big mess of roots and and this the stem right here. There's some old uh, spikes on here. I don't want to take it in like this. Okay, I want to dress this thing up a little bit, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Okay, uh, this is my process. This is what I do, guys. Um, you know, you can get as elaborate as you want to with this. Uh, or you can go, you know, pretty much just simple, uh, which is kind of what I do. I kind of go in between. Um, you know, I could bring in this plant on a hanger like this and just say, here you go. Uh, they will, they will look at it, they will judge it, but, you know, like I said, presentation is a big factor in these things. So, um, so basically, you know, I'm going to show you different kind of pots you can use, um, that I've used in the past. I mean, this is your standard net pot here. This is a 10 inch net pot. So, uh, it's rather large. Okay. Um, and here's some, here's some wooden baskets. Okay, here's a 10 inch and a 12 inch. Okay, um, here's some other ones here. Uh, these are actually the, the octagon, octagon wooden baskets. I keep these on hand um, so when I do want to display one of my orchids at the show or whatever, that I have them. Um, so I've bought an extras. Uh, I basically only use these for display and you can use them over and over again. Okay. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do with this Vanda is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to and I'm going to take this wire off. Okay, this is how I hang the the, the Vanda. So I'm going to take the wire off. It's quite simple to do that. Okay, I'm going to undo any any little uh, twisty ties or anything like that that may be on my plant. Okay, I'm going to get off all the dead stuff. Any old spikes, anything like that, okay? Uh, if these old spikes don't break off like that, uh, fairly easy, uh, then you can just use your sterilized clippers and get them off. So I noticed that there's a little uh, weed in between there in the leaf axles. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of there too. You know, I don't want that in there, guys. Um, so if you see anything in between your leaf axles that needs to be cleaned up, clean it up. Okay, um, so, you know, Vanda roots, uh, if you don't know, when you get them wet, are very pliable, okay? Uh, you can move them around easy, you can squish them up. You know, these are these roots are wet right now. So you can squish them up and put them in a ball like this, okay? And um, that's basically what I do uh, when I go to put these in a basket. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these octagon baskets. Wooden baskets here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna place it like so, okay, in the basket, as even as I can in, in the middle, okay. And just try your best. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay. Just make sure you get all the roots wrapped up in there, so the judges aren't seeing this mess of roots everywhere. You know, um, yeah, the roots are nice, but you know the judges are more interested 
in the plane. I mean, look how much better that looks already in being displayed like that. I mean, much, much better. Okay, so in order to secure the plant in this basket, it's very, very simple, okay? I use zip ties. Okay, these are your basic zip ties you can get at basically any store, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere. Uh, if you're an online shopper, Amazon, I mean. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure the roots to the bottom of the basket, okay, with these zip ties. And it's a fairly easy process. I say that, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit uh, harder than it, than it uh, appears. Uh, these roots like to play games with these sometimes, so um, just make sure that you get it nice and secure in there. You don't want it so tight that you're breaking the roots, okay? You just want it to be able to have nice and secure. And if you need to use a couple of them, go ahead and use a couple of them. That's not a big deal. in a couple of them. I've, uh, you see how I'm kind of turning the plane around like this? Just be careful when you're doing that just so you don't obviously drop the plant, okay? Um, I have dropped the plant before and ruined the thing. I mean, okay, so that looks a heck of a lot better already. Um, you know, just by putting it in that basket. And you can kind of straighten it out and do its thing, okay? So look how much better that displays to the judges. I mean, much, much better, just that little bit. So, not only can I put it in a basket, I can go ahead and put some sort of meteor or something in there to hide more of these roots and to give it more of an aesthetic appeal. Um, like I said, you can go, you can get really fancy with this and go buy that, the green moss that you've seen, um, you know, you can put little rocks and decorate it if you want to. Or you can even get a really nice fancy pot. Uh, I'll show you guys this one down here I've used before too. So, you know, I've used this pot before too. I mean, this is a super fancy pot um, that I've used and, and gotten a couple awards with uh, using this. So, I mean, you guys can go spend money and, and do this too. Um, I just elected not to do that this time. So, um... I just decided to do the wooden basket because these are more uh, easily easily accept. Uh, what is the word I'm thinking of? Uh, easily be easily attainable. Excuse me. So um, I'm gonna just gonna get your basic moss here. Okay, this is your basic sphagnum moss. Okay, it's wet. It's a little it's a little wet. Okay, because these plants are gonna dry out um, at the show or at the AOS judging. And I'm just gonna place some in there. Okay. I'm just going to place some moss in the basket, okay, in and around the roots, just just to make it a little bit more appealing, you know, um, that's all I'm doing. And you can clean up anything that's spilled or anything. You don't want to pack it in there, okay, I'm not packing it in there, not doing any of that. You know, I got a couple of roots hanging out this side to give it a little bit of a, a feel that, you know, it does actually have some roots. Um, okay, so after I've done all that, I've gotten it straightened out. I want to go ahead and make sure the leaves are cleaned, okay? You make sure, you, you know, these, these leaves on them have either fungicide residue or water stains. If you've got hard water or whatever, um, you know, you want to get that stuff off of there. Like I said, the judges look for this kind of stuff, okay, guys? So basically what I'm going to do is I got, a, I got a microfiber towel rag here, and I put a little dish soap on it and water, and that's it. I'm going to go through, and I'm going to gently rub these leaves as best I can, okay? And, and it's not, you know, you don't have to get every spot off, okay? But just try, and you don't want to rub these hard, okay? You, you'll... you'll You'll, you'll rub the leaves so hard that it'll, it'll ruin them and um, break up a lot of the chlorophyll and stuff on these leaves. So um, just got to be careful, okay? So I just want to gently, gently rub them and, and get the stuff off. Okay. 
so. So, I mean, there you go, guys. I mean, look how much better that looks. I mean, you can straighten it out a little bit if you want to. Maybe put a little bit of extra moss on one side to, to help straighten it out. But, I mean, we're going to take this to judge today, and uh, hopefully uh, we're going to come back with an award for you guys. So, um, appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, please give me a uh, give me a shout out and, and let me know. Um, you know, if you like this video, please you know subscribe to our channel and whatnot. So uh, thank you guys. See you guys later. Bye bye.